Hi everyone, Shaman here. Today we're going to talk about productivity and how to be more productive. Have you ever wanted to be more productive? And are you a lazy piece of work? Well, don't worry, we got you covered here. Today we're going to be talking about how to be productive if you're a lazy slob. Alright, maybe the slob part can be left out, but how to be productive if you're lazy, let's do it. People are always saying to get a planner, get an agenda, get a little notebook if you're a cute first grader, to write down what you're doing for today. You should do that, but you should also plan goals for today, tomorrow, and your long-term goals. This is because if you just write down what you're trying to do today, you're not going to have any context for is today a busy work day? How does today compare to tomorrow? Can I throw some things I'm doing today to tomorrow? Can I chip at my long-term goals today a little bit? I found that writing your goals out reduces stress because you don't have to constantly worry about what you're doing for the day. And you'll be able to know if you're being consistently productive or pushing your goals further and further back until you fail. For my next tip, I've got three words. Do not linger. And linger is a weird word. Let me get the definition for you one second. Linger, dictionary.com. To remain or stay in a place longer than is usual or expected. You do it, don't you? We all do it. We have to stop. Of course, everyone does this, but we need to minimize it as much as possible. Because when you're on that phone call, and the phone call, you know the conversations run dry. Why are we still talking? If you're hanging out with friends, you're at an event, or you're playing cards, or whatever, and you're done with the game, you're done with the event. Why are we still here? Why are you not getting in that cart and going home to study? You've got to put a little pressure on yourself and force yourself out the door, force yourself to hang up the phone, force yourself to beat. I don't know where that was even going. So picture this scenario. It's morning, 10 a.m. Your phone rings, you go and pick it up. You contemplate for a second, you turn it off. We're supposed to get up off the bed, use the toilet, brush the teeth. We know the drill, but what do we do instead? We sit there looking at the phone, we contemplate again, we unlock it and start using it. You're done at that point. Anyways, it was a little longer than expected, just do not linger. Now if you are a lazy person, you do not want to do work. So you have to force conditions on yourself to make yourself work instead of getting distracted and grabbing that nearby phone. Usually when I'm feeling pretty lazy, I put this condition on myself, I say okay I'm not going to use these devices. I get up, I walk around, I grab an apple or something, drink some water, try to distract myself for like a minute, I get bored, and you go right back to the essay. It works great. Also, you can reward yourself for doing work. So if you're working on that essay and you're feeling that you can finish it today, reward yourself with a big slice of cake and that will motivate you to get that work actually done today. Next, you want to find or make a productive environment. So with a productive environment, this obviously means being in a quiet area or a place with less distractions. You want to put your phone away, turn off those notifications, either completely or for specific apps, and just create an environment that's conducive to study. Also regarding your study environment, friends play a huge role. Friends can either motivate you or they can distract you. So you want to pick those friends that are motivating you so that you're not getting called to go waste time somewhere for hours. So pick productive friends, because I have literally seen friend groups change certain people, change a gangster into the nerdiest scholar ever. I've literally seen it happen. My next tip is to recharge effectively. So you never, ever want to abruptly just take a break. So a lot of times you'll be studying, you'll be reading something, and you'll just be like, okay, I feel like getting up. Do not do that. You want to make sure you stick to creating and using break points. When I finish this set of math problems or biology questions, I'll take a break. Never abruptly take breaks. Also never sacrifice sleep for anything. Without sleep you become way less productive and everything becomes more sluggish. Also you can turn some of your easy work into a sort of break time to get even more recharging done. So if you're sifting through research articles for something, or if you're coloring in or doing some artsy project for something, you can turn that work into a more sort of break time. Put on some music, call somebody, 
Do whatever you have to to make that easy work into break time. Instead of doing real work, then this easy work, then taking a break, you can do your hard work, you can incorporate this easy activity in the middle, and then you can get right back to hard work. That way you're maximizing your productivity. And lastly, you want to increase your work to break ratio. That's basically the essence of productivity. You really need to build the stamina to work for longer periods of time and take on less breaks. Think of it kind of like a workout. With a workout, you don't expect to get to your maximum gains immediately. You want to slowly build your way up. Just like with studying, you're slowly building your stamina. And it takes hard work, it takes persistence. You need to really push to your limits of studying. You can't give up so easily. And if you push to study for longer periods of time slowly, you'll be able to get to where you want to be in productivity fairly quickly. And that's how to transform from lazy to productive. Being productive is really necessary no matter what you do. So it's better to learn how to be productive and train yourself now. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Leave a comment down below and share it with anyone you want. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and check out my other videos if you're new. And that's it. See you next time.